everybody glorious glow empowerment coach here or you can call me coach glory inspiring you to live a purpose driven life yes are you living a purpose driven life are you living your life on purpose i've asked that same question in different ways okay and i would like you to give me an answer in the comment section it would be great to hear from you as you can see from the um title i will be talking about tips to keep you motivated okay and unleash unleash your potential all right so so far if you were if i were to ask you a question are you living a purpose-driven life what would you say is what you are doing right now the life you are meant to be living on purpose are you living it on purpose or are you just doing whatever life brings your way most times when I ask this question maybe clients or people I speak with generally um, they give me vague answers like, well, tell, they tell me what career they have. I am a manager at, they say what it is or where they are a manager at. Or they say, well, I'm a wife, I'm a mother and, okay, whatever else, maybe their position at work. And they describe themselves that way. Yes. Your purpose may be to be a mother. That's if you are sure that's all you are meant to be doing. Just mothering children. You know, take, taking care of children, both biological and adopted children. That's fine as well. The most important thing is understanding you knowing within you. And being certain of what your purpose is. So let's dive in. Today I have some tips written down. And I would like to share those tips with you. Let's dive into the tips I have written down. And the tips I have here doesn't mean this is all. That there are so many more tips out there. Okay. But I've written 12 tips down to share with us today. Let's get started. Tip number one. I have know your gifts. Yes. You all have gifts. We all have gifts. Okay. Do you know what your gifts are? If I were to ask you, what are your gifts? What gifts do you think you have? What's unique about you? Some of you already know what your gifts are and others may take a while to give me an answer. They're like, I'm not quite sure, you know. I'm not sure what my gifts are. So I'm asking you now, what is that thing you do beautifully? What's that thing you do so well? And you enjoy, you derive joy from actually, you know, taking part in these activities and all of that. What is it? Do you realize that may be your gifts? Sometimes these gifts may be in a raw form. They may not be loud, you know, they may not be out there for you to discover quickly. It may take some time to discover them. You may have to unearth them, like bring them out and nurture them make them grow and all of that before you actually see that wow so this was actually my gift some gifts are like that so it's time to start being you know aware start being conscious of what it things you enjoy doing what you love and start paying attention to them so normally on during the week i put out posts in my group and on my Facebook page. So from now on, my plan is to come on live 12 noon on Fridays. <laughs> I, I have actually just finished uh, my 12 noon live video. I went back only to realize that there was no sound. So that's why I'm doing the second video. And if you're watching me live, please let me know you can hear me. Let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. Let me know you can hear me because I finished a video 
I think the video was like about 30 minutes and there was no sound. How disappointing. So this is take two. If you can hear me, please let me know. That would really help me. Okay, so the first point I shared was know your gifts. Okay, now some of us wait for other people to motivate us. It is time for you to start motivating yourself. Don't wait for anyone to say, oh, yes, go and do that. Oh, that's your gift. Go on and use it. It is time to motivate yourself. Tell yourself, put plans in place and tell yourself, look, I'm going to ensure I get this done. Motivate yourself. Cheer yourself on. You are your own cheerleader. Okay? And if you still feel like you need permission <laughs> to live on purpose and to use your gift, I'm giving you that permission today. Go ahead and start living the life you were created to live. Okay? I, I heard Les Brown say that the richest place on earth is the graveyard. Why is that? Because so many people lived on earth, okay, without actually using their gifts and died with the gifts in them. There was no impact whatsoever on the world, okay? They left and nobody even knew in some cases that they had left, that they had departed this world because there was no impact. That mustn't be the case with you and I. The gifts we have within us, we must impact the world. We must impact others with our gifts. We must start to live purposefully and ensure that everyone around us feels the impact, a positive impact on everyone around us. All right? So the second tip is to focus on your strengths. We all have strengths and weaknesses. There's no perfect human being anywhere. So why focus so much on your weaknesses and beat yourself down and say, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Or society, you're looking at societal, you know, pressures, opinions and things like that. The pressure society puts on people. You have to look a certain way to achieve some things. No. If you have um, allowed yourself to be ruled by that, I'm giving you the permission now to stop. Be who you are called to be. Live your life on your own terms. As long as you're not harming anyone, there's no harm being done to anybody. You are living peacefully. You are, um, living, you are a law-abiding law citizen and all of that. And you are gently pursuing your purpose. You don't need permission from anybody. Go ahead. Do what it is you love. Enjoy your life. After all, you only have one. <laughs> okay? So, know your gifts. Focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. Oftentimes, people look at um, other people. Okay? And let me share, let me say this first. The third tip is avoid the comparison spirit. Okay? Before I go on to explain. Avoid comparison spirit don't compare yourself with others comparison is a thief of joy it will deprive you of being happy because you are looking at other people and you're wondering how they go out there and achieve their goals they set goals and they're achieving them you know like there's nothing stopping them at all have you ever asked yourself these people achieving things don't they have weaknesses? They definitely have weaknesses, but they are just going out there anyway and focusing on their strengths. So if you are someone who allows, you know, things, society, opinion of other people get you down, it is time to get up. Shake yourself, you know. Get up from that place of being down and being depressed. Shake yourself and say, no more. I have to get up and I have to go and achieve my aims, my goals, and all of that. Don't allow your weaknesses get you down. Now, if you feel your weaknesses, you if you have paid so much attention on your weaknesses, and they have be, you know, be, become 
like a burden and always getting you down why don't you look at those weaknesses and think about how you can turn them to strengths instead do you need help do you need somebody to help you do you need training do you need um you know just help yourself you know look for people to look for people to help you recognize what you need to do to achieve your goals don't allow those weaknesses stop you okay now someone like me shyness was a weakness i looked at people i saw people achieving you know being bold speaking confidently um doing presentations at school and all of that but i never wanted to do presentations I would rather be in the group. I contributed 100% to group work. Okay. I loved, I had so many ideas. I have so many ideas still. And at uni or at school, I contributed to group work. But when it came to presenting, actually presenting the work, I pushed other people forward. Even if I may have contributed a lot of ideas, I would say, no, somebody else do the presentation. Okay, but I've, I've overcome that now. That was a weakness, but I've turned that weakness around. And you can do the same too. Your weakness can now be turned around to become your greatest strength. Don't allow your weaknesses get you down. Don't focus so much on your weaknesses. In the meantime, focus on your strengths. If your weakness is something you would like to do, maybe you would like to ensure it's no more a weakness, focus on your strengths for now while you are building yourself up in that area. Okay? So let's go to the other tip. Tip number four is to plan your day ahead of time. What do I mean by this? So at the end of each day, take some time to reflect on the day that you have just had. And then think about ways to improve. What could you have done better? Think about that. And then what do you want to improve? How do you want to improve that the next day? All right. What do you want to achieve the next day? Have you always had plans to maybe write a book, start a blog or something like that, but you've always procrastinated? Why don't you, at the end of each day, sit down and reflect. Think about what you achieved today and what you didn't quite achieve. How will you improve that for the next day? So write your plans out. Make sure your plans are not too general. Okay? Make them specific. The more specific they are, the more realistic they become and also achievable break them down into smaller chunks all right and then it becomes easier to to do otherwise you will keep procrastinating and never get around to achieving or fulfilling what you had written down or what your plans were the day before okay so that's tip number four tip number five is understand your destination i love this one where do you want to go so this week i released a post about understanding your internal gps so in life when we when you want to go out you make your plans right and you say well today i'm going to be visiting maybe um let's see where are you going to be visiting <laughs> So you need to know where you're going anyway. So whatever you have, okay, let's say you're going to the supermarket, right? You want to buy something. You want to do some shopping because you have plans for tomorrow. Now you need to think about the store you want to go to. For example, where I live, we have lots of superstores around me. Okay. So for example, I want to go shopping. I have to decide on the superstore I want to visit. Alright, so say for example, I'm going to the superstore closest to me, which is about five minutes drive from where I live. I'll say, okay, I'm going to that superstore. Pick a time I want to go there. Time I'll be leaving from my house. 
okay and then i know i'm heading straight to that superstore i will not now deviate and go to the superstore that, that is 20 minutes away from where i live because i have set my gaze ahead i have set my plans i'm going to the superstore five minutes away from where i live so because i already know where i plan to go that enables me think about the time i will be leaving home definitely i'll give myself enough time to leave in order to get there but if i was going to the superstore 20 minutes away from me i will be leaving home a lot earlier because that's about 20 minutes drive away from me so i'll leave home earlier so knowing your destination allows you put plans in place you know where you are starting from you know where you want to go but in between you need to have plans you need to have strategies okay now you are focusing on your strengths who do you need along the way to help you do you need training along the way whatever it is you need along the way knowing your destination would help you put a plan in place also once you've put a plan in place it enables you give attach a time frame a deadline okay i want to achieve this and then put a deadline beside it when you would like to have achieved that goal by that always helps isn't it let me know what you think in the comment section about if you have tried that before and if you, if you found it useful tip number six is nearly the same as tip number five it says put strategies in place to help you which i have just explained okay put plans in place to help you get to your destination tip number seven be ready for criticism <laughs> yes when you have set your mind on achieving a goal there will be criticism along the way but don't allow that stop you don't allow that put you back because other people may don't know your story they don't know your journey nobody knows where you are coming from they haven't walked in your shoes so we shouldn't allow people hinder or stop us from getting to our destination okay you know where you want to go you know where you want to be there will be criticism along the way surprise surprise some of these um, criticisms may even come from loved ones people closest to you but understand them for who they are where they are coming from they don't want you to take risks all right sometimes they're trying to preserve the fact they think they're trying to preserve the family name and all of that it depends on what you are trying to achieve they may say oh i don't want you out there i don't want people knowing you know what we do and all of that but if it's in line with your purpose if it's in line with your god-given vision try to make them understand and then move on with your plans okay look for people who cheer you on look for a tribe that spurs you on that says yes you can do it and then keep focused okay plan um, tip number eight is be self-aware this is so important being self-aware you become aware of your emotions okay emotional intelligence comes in here you need to be aware of what triggers you what's that thing or who are those people that trigger you the wrong way and then you are able to put a plan in place to avoid such triggers or to take control ensure they don't you don't give anyone power to turn you off and on whenever so whatever they say you are already triggered up and you and you lose focus but when you become self-aware you are aware you become conscious of these triggers and you put a stop to them okay now tip number nine catch negative thinking yes i'm not sure why but it seems a natural thing natural tendency for human human thinking is to be negative 
you know you just naturally feel you know because i think because of self-preservation you want to preserve the natural human state state of mind is self-preservation you want to preserve yourself and keep yourself safe so you don't want to um, take risks so you start to think negatively no i don't, don't go that way i don't think i can do that i don't think i'm not good enough when you're asked why i'm not good enough there are better people out there that can go ahead and do it so from now on you need it's important to use affirmations positive affirmations turn those negative thinking around and instead of saying you're not good enough switch it and say i am enough say it in present tense attach strong emotions to it as you speak I am enough. Yes, I can do this. I am worth it. I am beautiful. I am appreciated. As you say it, you begin to feel it. And that's those are powerful tools for you. Okay? So switch. Start catching yourself before you say those negative words. Because words have power. Whatever you say, negative or positive, they come to pass. So we need to catch those negative thoughts before we speak them. Okay. Now tip number 10. I have 12 tips here for you and one bonus. Tip number 10 is to stick to a routine. Create a routine for yourself. Daily routine, especially the early morning routine. Create a routine and make sure you stick to your routine. It helps you with everything you do. So for example, either I wake up at 5 a.m. every day or just around just after 5 a.m. I love to wake up early. It sets my day, it sets me up for my day beautifully. Okay. And it just keeps me going, keeps me focused. So your routine, you start your routine at your own time, whatever time suits you, and stick to whatever routine you have. Maybe meditate after waking up you pray or you go for a run you read whatever your routine is just make sure you stick to your daily routine that helps you keeps you focused every day it keeps me focused anyway now tip number 11 know who you are do you know who you are do you know who you are created to be do you know what impact you are meant to be having in this world? That's a question. That's a personal question for you to answer. Okay. So that's some homework for you. Reflect on that question and then answer it for yourself. Now, tip number 12 says, get a coach. Yes, get a coach. Sometimes you can't do this on your own. That's why coaches are out there to help you. I work as a coach. I help women. Okay, specifically, I coach women. I inspire and empower women to understand their God-given purpose. Okay, and I, that's why I have a program called Passion, Purpose, Profit. What do we do? It's a six-month program where I coach women we, to understand their passion. What is it you are passionate about? What drives you? What do you enjoy doing? What do you love? Once we discover this, we now move on to purpose. Your passion can become your purpose. You understand why you are here. You are not here just to exist and die at the end of the day. There is a purpose attached to each and every one of us. Once we've discovered purpose, we now move on to profit. How can you profit? How can you position yourself as an expert to make sure you earn a living from your purpose? Can, can you see that? So your passion is turned into your purpose and you are able to earn a living from your purpose. Okay? Because at the end of the day, there's, it's not worth it just having a passion and not being able to leave or not not being able to earn a living from it because that's why you were created you can earn a living from your passions so we work together we go deep down we take a deep dive into unearthing removing 
all those limiting beliefs? What is it that is holding you back? What's stopping you from achieving your purpose? That we remove, we go deep down, okay? We remove, eliminate every form of limiting belief because your life, you have been created for a reason and life mustn't be wasted. And the other thing we <laughs> humans have is a time limit. We have to do something. And there's no other time like now. Why waste it? Why procrastinate and say, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, people are looking at me. Oh, what will they think? Oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> yes, people will have opinion. They will think. They will say, but you are focused on achieving your purpose that's the most important thing and you're happy that's the most important thing having said all that i'm now going to say as you all know one time or the other we have all invested in beautiful equipment things that we love and you take them home you open them and you want to fix them already you're trying to like put them together and it doesn't work like this morning i this is my second um live video this morning i brought my mic put it in, right in front of me turned my computer on and started speaking i went back later to watch my video and there was no sound i'm like what all that time I spent talking wasted my live video there was no sound why I hadn't used my equipment properly I hadn't attached it into my computer and I just spent all that time speaking that's the same thing we do as human beings doing this video I just got a revelation that that happened to me for a reason just to explain this and I'm so happy that happened to me I'm so happy I'm having a second chance <laughs> at doing this video oh my god second chance at doing this video at talking to you all about what happened to me today the same thing God gives us lots of chances how can you find your purpose without God some of us go ahead we make plans you know all these beautiful plans i've just um, told us about we set goals and all of that but we don't include god and we feel like we are living life as lost people and we don't understand why what's happening why am i not finding my purpose why am i not happy why we ask why 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 that's because we have removed God from the equation. He owns the manual to our lives and he has given it to us. Nothing is hidden. All the gifts, all the talents, everything is in us. He just wants us to read the manual. He wants us to include him. How do I do this? When you look at the manual, everything falls in place. And you're like, wow, so this is what I'm meant to be doing. And you start to live your life purposefully. And you attach your equipment in the right laptop. <laughs> and the sound comes out. Oh my God. And when you start to live purposefully, including God, the impact is felt. Just as you are listening to me now, you can hear my voice, right? yes so that's what happens because why can you hear my voice because i've plugged in my mic into the laptop same thing happens when you live a purpose driven life with god you're happier because you are attached to the life source you are attached to the manual you have read the manual that says do this plug that mic into the into the pot the right pot and people will hear your voice when you read the manual 
you include God, the same thing happens. And people are like, wow, what an impact your gift is felt. Everyone can see it. Everyone can hear you. I'm like, wow, what a gift. That's how you live a purpose-driven life That's, that, that is impactful. We have all these goals. We set all these goals. We write them down. But when we don't include God in it, we feel like we are lost. So, once again, I am Glorious Glow Empowerment Coach, or you can call me Coach Glory. I'm here to help you. If you would like to get in touch with me, I'll leave a link in the description section. Contact me, and I'll be happy to go on this journey with you. Whatever you do, have a great day, and have a blessed weekend. Bye.